Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome. We are going to dive into the tarot energies for each sign for Virgo season starting August 22nd to September 22nd. What do you need to know? Let's get into it. So welcome to the channel or welcome back. So awesome to see you here. I hope you're all doing really well out there. So I am going straight tarot. We are doing a five card pull for each sign. Watch sun, moon, rising Venus. I'm not going to break it out by houses. We'll save that for some other videos. And let's just see what the tarot vibes are for you for Virgo season. Let's get into it. Timestamps in the description and the first pinned comment. All right, Aries, Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd. What is popping for you? Straight shot tarot. Let's see what we got going on, Aries, for you. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries people, we got an eight of pentacles. Very fitting. We got the Virgo energy. Oh, and the magician. You're making some sort of miracle happen. Ten of cups, gorgeous. Six of coins, gorgeous, knight of pentacles. All right, so I'm going to do separate money, career, and business reading, readings for each of the signs, but I feel like money is on your mind, absolutely, with all the pentacles that are showing up here, but it is absolutely connected with your overall personal happiness. Now, it's not that you need money to make you happy. I mean, money is a tool, right? but you can have all the money in the world and still be miserable, you know? So it's more like there's some sort of focused energy with both of these here that you are manifesting with resources. It could be financial resources. It could be time resources. It could be creativity resources. It could be a combination of all of those that are going to help you achieve some sort of ultimate personal happiness. Now, it may have something to do with who you're living with, where you're living, how you're living, but also 10 of cups can just be, it's a 10 for me, the ultimate personal happiness. Not everybody has a family. It could be family happiness. Maybe something is shifting for you in Virgo season when it comes to family and what's going on with everyone. Um, there may be more harmony in your family in Virgo season, but not everybody has a family. So we read it a couple different ways. All right. We have this beautiful six of coins here, benevolence and gifts from the universe. I personally would look around September 6th for this, maybe the 16th, but I feel more like the sixth after that new moon in Virgo, which I will do a separate video on, which is happening the second, third of September. Um, there is some gift from the universe that you are focused hard on manifesting that is going to enable you to achieve a very important goal and move forward on a goal that you have been focusing on probably since Taurus season, maybe even since your birthday. I mean, we can take it back that far too, but I feel at least the end of April, you've, you've concocted a new plan, a new desire, a new goal. You have been focused on it. Like you're not slacking. Okay, you are not. You're not slacking. You are in there doing the work, getting stuff done. You are feeling your power, your personal power and your energy right now. You have been feeling it. You are going to be feeling it even stronger as we get into the first three weeks of September, really. This last week of Virgo season, we're still wrapping up Mercury retrograde. We are wrapping up the emotional detritus. I love that word. <laughs> the emotional you know, blowback of the full moon in Aquarius and various shenanigans that have been going on. The Jupiter Saturn square. I mean, you know, all the things, Mars, Jupiter conjunction square, that I mean, all the things we're wrapping it up. So I would say this is also you like you're going to start to feel you're getting your energy back. OK, your sense of your your focus, your ability, not that you don't have ability now, but you're just going to feel much more on point and much more convinced by the universe because some tangible things are going to start coming into your world. You're going to be more convinced by the universe in September in Virgo season that your goal is manifesting. 
Uh, you will see something tangible in your hand that is going to lead you to this happiness that you have been working so hard to achieve. So keep the focus, keep the faith, keep doing your thing in your beautiful red cardigan here. <laughs> the very Aries color, right? Uh, just keep tuning in, tapping into your personal energy and power. But you know, if, if the last week of August, you're feeling a little drained, it's like I said, Mercury retrogrades wrapping up. We're also in the dark of the moon because the new moon's not till September 2nd, 3rd. So if you're a little low energy, do not do the Aries thing of beating yourself up over it, you know, this last week of August and pushing harder. Just keep a slow, steady pace. That's also this energy here. Right? I mean, take care of your business. Do what you need to do. Uh, maybe allow yourself some creative fun time in the meantime also. Like, you don't have to push 24-7. This is already in process of manifesting. Just keep the flow going. Keep the flow going, Aries, and you got this. All right, Taurus, let's see what you need to know about Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd, overall tarot energy vibes. Let's find out, Taurus, Taurus, beautiful Taurus peoples, let us see, can't shuffle today. All right, let's see what we got. What do we got? Ooh, we have a star, gorgeous, and the world, wow. Page of cups in your heart. This is a surprise happy ending to something, is what I feel. But it's a little bittersweet. Five of cups. Oh, we got the eight of pentacles again. Aries just got that. Gorgeous. This is good. I mean, yeah, we have a five of cups here, but, you know, that is what it is. Okay? But that's because it's bittersweet. There's nothing horrible here. Okay? There's nothing, you know, dramatic, scary, horrible. No. Okay, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised, page of cups in your heart, with something that wraps up in, I think, a very spectacular, but also healing way. There is a surprise. There is a surprise, happy ending, possibly a little bit of a twist, but, you know, because this is your energy here, and we do have Uranus in your sign still, as we know. Okay, so again... Uranus goes retrograde. I don't have the exact date on top of my head in September. So this may be connected with that. Um, you know, where there could be a, a surprising twist of fate, a do over. But it's also a resolution because we have the world card here. So um, it's a healing resolution with the star card. Possibly something to do with your career. It's possible because this is your 10th house. I said I wasn't going to break it into houses, but I do. I, do, I will mention that <laughs> just briefly. OK, but this is something about divine timing and destiny that is wrapping up something in a healthy, healing, cathartic, also possibly cathartic way. Like there is a release and a relief about this energy with the star here. Now, we have water in the star card. It's healing energy, though, but. There might be a few healing tears. You know, when you like cry tears of relief, like, oh, thank God that is over, you know, like, like something like that. There may be slight tears tinged with melancholy because of a five of cups, but this is not a bad, this is natural. This is a natural part of a situation that has been in the process of figuring itself out. And we're just finally getting the divine timing of when it is completing. Um, and it may be slightly emotional, even when we have a happy ending, even when we have something, a happy surprise and we have a healing, there still can be tears involved, right? Tears of relief, joy, etc. And maybe some little bit, again, little bit of, mm, I wish it didn't have to exactly go that way. I wish maybe it could have been like this, but you know what? I'm going to be grateful and graceful and accept this benevolent surprise way that this is working out for me. It is working out for me, okay? Despite this, okay? Just please don't focus on this. Focus on all this good over here also and this page of cups in your heart. Page of cups, always a little bit of a, a twinkly surprise. This in your heart. So your heart is born anew. Also page of cups, right? An emotional new beginning for you with a little bit of a, a fish in your cup, a surprise twist happening here, right? 
could be a Pisces involved. It's possible. Um, or happening at that full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is in the middle of September. I will do a separate video on that. So that might be the time marker for it. We also have this beautiful eight of coins here, which is about getting back your focus, getting it back your energy, getting back your mojo, getting back your sense of well-being. And I got this. I can do this like this is happening. I have a new project I'm working on. So I think you, you know, you're finishing up something here and getting some surprising twist so that you can focus on your next assignment, okay? your next divine assignment from the universe, Taurus. All right, Gemini, let's see what you need to know about Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd, the energies to be aware of for you. Gemini. All right, let's see what we have for you. Ooh, Empress. Oh, and an Ace of Wands. Very nice, very nice. Nine of Coins in your heart. Ten of Swords. Uh oh, what's that all about? And a High Priestess. Okay. There is something you need to be aware of this month in Virgo season. I feel like there might be a sneak attack, okay? Like, because of somebody's jealousy with this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords High Priestess, you got so much glorious, beautiful energy over here. Does Empress, Ace of Wands, Nine of Coins in your heart, okay? Like, you are feeling productive. You are feeling empowered. You're feeling like you got your act together. There could be some very good money news headed your way in this Virgo season. Very, very possible. Uh, possibly related to your home because of this nine of coins, your Virgo, which is your fourth house. So, I mean, we're in Virgo season, your fourth house energy. Your home is, you know, emphasized in Virgo season. And we have this Virgo. So in September, especially the first three weeks, like you're making money. Look at this. You could have a very good start with something that could be a big money maker, or and or money is coming in for you and something that you have started a while ago. It could be three months ago, three years ago. Like you know, there is something here where you have a lot of momentum, you have a lot of oomph, a lot of power. Um, you're making bank, but then look at this over here. What is this? Okay. So that I, I'm so sorry. It's, it's like, I feel like I always have cat hair up my nose because of Bobo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like this is not you. I feel like this is something that's going to come out of the woodwork of a possible evil eye, jealousy, sneak attack, as I said before. And I just mean an energetic attack. I don't mean a literal attack. Just energetically, somebody sending negative psychic energy your way. So I would say it is vital for you to ground yourself, put up shields of protection. Um, and also because money is emphasized very heavily here, protect your assets. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because there's something here, you know, people can be very, very jealous, you know? I mean, it's just, it's unfortunate. And I don't, I don't like this here. I, I really do not. So, um, you know, we read what comes up. We try to keep it real here. Like I said, this is very good. And because you're being very successful in Virgo season with something, it brings, it can, when we're successful, when we are doing good, when we have the fire and the light on our side, it brings out an element. It can bring out an element. It's not our fault, but it can bring out an element that is unsavory, shall we say. So keep your wits about you. And I also feel especially because in this deck, she has a laptop in her, in her possession here. So this could be a tax on the internet. This could be somebody hacking into your internet accounts, your email. Like, again, I'm not trying to make anybody paranoid, but these knowledge is power. We always talk about that. Just be on the alert to those types of things. I mean, don't obsess and freak out about it. Of course not. 
And it's, this is just a terror reading on YouTube. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? But we just, like, if this comes up, we're like, okay, I got to be a little on guard. And, you know, because you might be so caught up in this over here. I mean, this is so gorgeous, right? You could be so, like, focused on, like, oh, I'm feeling lush and creative and bank is rolling in and I got my bag and this is happening. And be a slightly oblivious to this. Okay? So, you know, enjoy this, but also have one eye open over here. That's all I'm saying. Okay? But this is just a time reading, you know, time marker for Virgo season. This is not, you know, the whole rest of the year or anything like that. Um, so, you know, just keep that, keep that in mind. Um, and this is sneaky to me. This combo is sneaky. So it just, you know, just be on the alert. All right, Cancer, let's see what you need to know for a Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd. Virgo season for the Cancers. What do they need to know? Let us see. Ooh, we have the Fool. Beautiful. And the Virgo, the Hermit. Wow, another major arcana. In your heart, the strength card. This is Eight of Pentacles, and I've been shuffling. Here it is again. <laughs> oh, and the wheel. You have four major arcanas out of five cards here. This is going to be significant. Three weeks for you. Four weeks, rather. Virgo season. Very important turning point for you. Um, you are poised the unit to start something new. But first, there's a little bit of a review. Mercury is still retrograde until the 28th of August. I'm filming this 24th. We still, this is, this seems to me the longest Mercury retrograde in recent memory. Okay. But notice how all of these people here are looking, looking back. So you're looking at how far you have come. You're still taking stock of kind of where you're at, where you've been and how your journey is going to inform your new beginning as a new cycle gets underway for you. I would say, especially between the 8th and the 10th of September, be very alert to what you're focused on, what the universe brings as a starting point uh, for you at that time. So your heart is good. I mean, you have the strength card here. The Hermit is interesting because it's the Virgo energy and it is about can be about taking spiritual stock of where you're at, you know, tuning in with your guides, taking a moment to be with yourself away from the, you know, chaos of the world and just, you know, tuning in with yourself. I think you're going to like what you're feeling, sensing, seeing, experiencing with yourself in this moment of spiritual reflection. And you're going to see you're going to feel this energy of I am ready. We've been discussing this, like some of the readings for cancer lately have been like, are you ready for this new beginning? So I think what you're going to understand in the first maybe week and a half of Virgo season until we get to that new moon after September 2nd, 3rd, and also the 8th to the 10th, like you're going to be like, I may, I've made peace with my past. And as such, I welcome in my future. Here it is, the Fool card. And here it is over here. Okay? You don't have regrets. I think you're making peace with something here with this Strength card. Like, it's very interesting, the colors here also. This is, you know, with the darker background, but then the, the, the orange and the yellow. Like, I feel like there's just something here where you're just wrapping up the last loose ends of not feeling regrets or guilt. Maybe you did at one time a while back, which may have just been a natural part of the process you were going through, of whatever you were going through. Um, but like I said, you're coming out the other side of that and your heart is good. You're like, you know what? No, I, I did the best I could. The information I had at the time, I have nothing to feel ashamed about or guilty about. I'm good. I did what I needed to do, what I thought was right, you know, and making, like I said, making peace with that so you can begin anew. 
The time is right for you now. You may have tried to start something before earlier this year. It wasn't the right time. This is the timing. September is your time to focus and accept the universe's invitation to something brand spanking new that you are going to be very invested and involved in. So get ready. All right, Leos, let's see what you need to know about Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd. Leos, what do we got for you? Let us see, Leos. Leos, what do we got? We have a two of pentacles, which is interesting because I said I wasn't going to do houses. I can't help myself. Virgo season is your second house, right? Virgo, second house of money. And here it is. There's your earth, second house energy popping in here. Uh, more earth, king of pentacles. Oh, eight of cups. Oh, the star though, I like that. What is this, Leo? What is this ten of swords shenanigan? Okay. Um... I think that you are on the precipice of making some very important decision in terms of your probably your finances, your money. It could have to do maybe with real estate because of the King of Pentacles, maybe about something you're invested in. It could also be what you value, what you're invested in, in terms of a relationship. That's also possible. Um, but whatever it is, you have been weighing the pros and the cons of what are you going to do? And this is great because Mercury's been retrograde. So this has been a good time to be doing that. Mercury's still retrograde till the 28th. We are still in Mercury retrograde shadow. I feel like things are going to really start clearing out energetically a little bit more after we get the new moon in Virgo, second, third of September. We do, of course, have a big lunar eclipse in Pisces the middle of the month, which I will do a video on in September. But I feel like this last week of August, we're still kind of going through this process, right? This reevaluation. What are we doing? Where are we going? But then we make the decision and you may be making it around the 8th of September because we have the eight of cups in your heart. So you're really sitting with something like this is a very considered decision. You are not rushing this. You have been in the throes, in the thick of it, really trying to figure it out. And when you come to your final decision, conclusion, etc., you are moving on once and for all. Like you will not go back. Like this is the thing, whatever it is, whether we're talking a relationship, a job, a, a friendship, I mean, whatever it might be, right? You are like, I am finito. I am done. Now it might happen at the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. It's possible we got the full moon here, but it could also be happening around the eighth. All right. And then we have, you know, the star card here. So this, whatever you're deciding, it is a lot about your well-being and your healing and feeling cleansed. Cause let's not forget there's water here feeling cleansed of whatever, whatever was problematic, especially emotionally because the eight of cups is here. But it also could have been a financial situation. But I feel it's not so much the finances that's the burden, although it may be a part of the burden. It's more something weighing heavy on you emotionally. And that prob probably has been a blockage. You have felt stuck in some way. So I feel with this Ten of Swords, though, there's somebody who's not going to like the decision. But that's their problem. I feel like all of this is your energy. I feel like you are going to be clear. As I said, you're making the decision. You're moving on without regrets. Like this is it. You know, this is the right thing to do for yourself. The star card. But somebody else may feel because you're finally standing up for yourself or taking care of yourself or making the decision that's right for you when maybe you haven't done that before or as often as you should have, perhaps, maybe. Uh, they're not going to like it. Okay. And if you're cutting somebody off in Virgo season, which you may be, you could be cutting them off emotionally. You could be cutting them off financially, both. It's possible. 
they're still going to be stalking you. There's the phone. They're still going to be calling. They're still going to be texting. They're still going to be looking at your social medias like, what are you doing, Leo? Like, because you were a good thing for them. Okay? You were a good thing for them, but they messed it up. There's something they did. I don't think it was you. I think you hung in there for a while and you, you know, you really gave it your best shot. But now you're like, no, I got to think of number one. I got to focus on my emotional, mental, financial renaissance and healing. If it happens that you feel this way, I'm sorry. I've done the best I can in trying to fix this. Okay, so that's what I feel. It's going to be interesting, but I feel like you're going to be in a good position. Um... But just watch out for any type of, you know, weirdo reaction or weird things that somebody might post on socials or something like that after this Eight of Cups moment happens. Um, I would say, again, if you're breaking up with somebody, uh, you know, do it in a public place, you know, like that type of thing. Like we just, the dog just barked. Did you hear that in the hallway? That's very significant. The dog just barked again. <laughs> it's very rare to hear the dog in the hallway. She's a very sweet dog, um, very well behaved. So that is a sign from the universe. I like a little bit of a yes, affirmation, confirmation, a little bit of a warning, like, yeah. Okay, so anything you're doing that you have to deliver news to somebody, do it through lawyers if you need to, or do it in a public place. Virgo, it's your season. Happy birthday, Virgo. Let's find out what you need to know for your birthday season, August 22nd to September 22nd. Virgos, what do they need to know? Virgos, what do we got for you? Oh, we have some justice. Oh, and we have the four of cups. Hmm, interesting. Three of pentacles in your heart. I'm getting like a let's make a deal vibe. This eight of pentacles, I shuffle. I shuffle in between. I show you see me shuffle as I start the video. This card is coming out in almost every reading. And then the world. Wow. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting like a let's make a deal vibe. I think the universe is saying let's make a deal. It could be somebody in your world brought by the universe that's saying let's make a deal deal um I, I love this this card deck i especially love her shirt that says over it i don't know if you can see it but it cracks me up every time this card comes out um which is one of my all-time favorite tarot decks love it so much um so if we're looking for a time marker i would say we're going to be very close to the start of libra season for this to be happening since this Libra energy is coming out. Um, but you are seeking, you know, greater balance. Maybe you're seeking some karmic justice. Maybe you're seeking uh, to have a legal matter end. Maybe you're seeking a contract, a deal. And I feel like there is a deal. There's something happening here with this three of coins. There's a negotiation. Now in this deck, it's people doing art. And the three of coins is a maker and a builder card. Absolutely. Um, but it's also people, it's pentacles. Let's not forget, it's pentacles. It's people sitting around discussing the art of the deal. Okay? <laughs> the art of the deal. Let's make a deal. That used to be one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Um, but also the art of the deal. So the universe is bringing an opportunity for you to make a deal with this four of cups, it's coming in, but you're sitting here, this cracks me up all the time. This, you know, you're over it. You're like, yeah, so what? <laughs> yeah, a little pessimistic and that's okay. I mean, we can all get that way. Um, you know, but you know, the justice card is interesting. It can be all the things I just mentioned, but it can be also next to this four of cups about having the scales tip into an emotional, unbalancing act, right? That you're discombobulated. Your scales are tipped too far into disgust and apathy. So it's like the universe is trying to make your emotional equilibrium come back by bringing in something, but you're kind of like over it. 
So that is something to keep an eye on, Virgo, uh, over the next couple of weeks, because you're going to be happy. I mean, if you can get over it, you're going to be happy in, in realizing, you know what, the universe is bringing me something that could be a deal maker, not a deal breaker. And we have the eight of coins here, beautiful energy of focus and work and sustainability and things happening. We have two strong builder cards here, building on the momentum of what the universe is bringing in. So if things, if the scales have really been out of whack where nothing's been going on, you could suddenly see the universe, again, that four of cups, a little bit surprise element there of we're trying to get this balance right and get it back for you, Virgo. So you're going to have new possibilities that you're going to be focused in on um, that are going to allow you to wrap up one chapter. That's the world card, but also start again. So the world is a very interesting energy because it is an ending but she's also like coming out of this this egg here it's an egg she's being birthed and that's why we have the fool card then we go back to the fool card right the beginning so you're wrapping up this season of discombobulation and you're going to be starting a season of triumph is what i feel here of triumph of new horizons of exciting things i think you're going to see virgo by Scorpio season, the start of Scorpio season. So end of October, I think you're going to start to see really cool things manifest big time for you. They get started after your new moon. Okay, I would look to September 3rd here, 3rd or 4th with this these energies that are popping in here. Very, very nice. So you're going to be sinking your teeth into something new that is going to make you feel excited about new possibilities in your world. This could have something to do with your public reputation, about putting yourself out there a little bit more, especially also via the internet or with internet businesses, because we have this girl working on the computer here, maybe with some sort of design or creativity, since both of these are maker energies. Anything you want to make and create in your world could have enormous new potential and success with what the universe brings in. Now, it may require you to shift gears a little bit, but you're a mutable sign. You can do that. You might be doing that a tiny bit here with this. Kind of, you know, this to me a little bit here is a little bit back to the drawing board, but you're not throwing everything away. You're just, again, maybe tweaking a few things. But this, this looks very, very promising. All right, Libras, let's see what you need to know about a Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd. All right, Libras, Libras, Libras. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Mm, what is going on there? Uh-oh, devil in your heart. There you are, Queen of Swords. And then the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I think you're trying to maneuver your way out of a situation. This is this is what I feel. Um, there's something weighing on your heart. There's, there's an obligation. There's a, a shadow hanging over you. You know, there is an obsession, but not a healthy one because of this over here. There's something you're maybe your heart is really heavy with. That could be something that you've been tied down by, chained by, something toxic and unhealthy, whatever it may be. Um, I think you've been trying to rationalize because the swords, right? The mental energy, you've been trying to rationalize a way out of it. Like trying to, to sneak by fate or sneak out of it in some way or go under the radar and maybe nobody will notice. Like something like that. But that's not the case. You're going to find that out. You may be trying to do that in the first couple of days, first seven days of Virgo season. The second seven days. So the second week of Virgo season, you're going to realize that this is not going to work. And you're going to try to confront whatever is going on. 
You may have your work cut out for you. I feel like there's something here you have to deal with it head on. And you have to face it once and for all and put it behind you. It may have something to do with money, finances, a job, something else, you know, with the page of coins here. But there will be news coming in Virgo season of having to face the music, face whatever this is so you can put it behind you. Because that's the good news here. This is behind you. She, her back is turned to this. It is behind you. By the end of Virgo season, something that has been onerous and very difficult will be behind you. Okay? There may be some sort of financial ramification situation that's going on, that's connected with this somehow. Um, you know, I, I, we, you know, it's a general reading. We don't know what, what it'll be exactly. You may need to do some financial homework to figure out and get ahead of something financially with this energy. Um, but this is the process I feel that's going to be going on. Trying to not deal with it, get just to hope the universe will pass you by and it'll get ignored, realizing, nope, you've got to, you've got to do it. You've got to, even though it's a little, you're, you're feeling you're on shaky ground a little bit, you may need to defend yourself. You may need to uh, be a little assertive here. You may need to take a stand on something. Again, I feel it's more that you're confronting whatever this is and really looking at it, okay? Because this is like, she's squarely looking at it. This girl, she's like kind of half looking at it. She goes, she don't want to look at it. But this girl's like, all right, I guess I better freaking look at it because it's not going away. It's it's never going to go away until I face it. Okay, so this is what we have going on here. We have something that you are facing in Virgo season. You are dealing with it and there will be some sort of result. There will be news that comes in and it may have financial obligations, duties, payments, something attached to it all right scorpio let's see what you need to know about a virgo season august 22nd september 22nd what does the tarot have to tell you scorpio what do we have oh we have the nine of cups okay and we have a nine of swords what is going on there and we have a two of pentacles in your heart and we have a knight of pentacles and we have your energy king of cups all right so i feel like you are evaluating something that's very important to your future happiness um you know we got double nines here so this is probably and with the two i would say the first two weeks of virgo season before a decision will be made. This may even take us to the 9th of September with the double nine showing up. So you want something very badly, nine of cups. You have a very strong personal wish, an appetite, a craving, an itch that needs to be scratched, whatever it is. It's very personal because it's the nine of cups. It's like, and it's also the cups, which is your energy. Like you really want this, whatever it is but you are like, Lord, <laughs> please, can we get this show on the road? Can this happen? I am so worried that it's not gonna happen. Virgo season, you're gonna have the information in your hand. You are going to have the money, the time, the energy, the finances, whatever you have been waiting for to materialize, here it is. Which is why in your heart we have this. You've got to make the decision. And the decision is not financial. I mean, it may have a financial component because we got these coins. The decision is about your personal happiness. Here is your energy. And it's the cups. Let's not forget about this. this is, you know, your emotional happiness. Nine of cups. But there may be some little 
discerning that needs to be done, Scorpio, in terms of is this something that's just a craving or is this really like, um, like, is it, is this really, what's the word I want? I have all these different thoughts I'm trying to articulate here. Is it surplus to requirements or is it absolutely bottom line needed to feel happy every day? Or is this just something like nine of because the nine of cups can be appetite. So is this just like, God, I'm craving that chocolate cake or God, I really just want this brand new car. Right. But you have a car that that's perfectly fine right now. You see my point? And maybe instead of the chocolate cake, you, you have, a, you know, something else already in the house you could eat to satisfy that craving or take a magnesium pill, not medical advice. OK, if you're having usually if you have a chocolate cravings, it's like because you're low in magnesium. Again, not a doctor. I don't play one on TV, but just saying. OK. But in any case, that's something where maybe there needs to be some discernment, like. In making this decision, yeah, as I said, possibly finances are are, I mean, in today's age, of course, finances are always in the background with anything. It's just the way the world works. But because this is here, what is going to make you happy? Bottom line. This is the, how you're going back and forth in your heart about this. And I would say, too, because the Knight of Queens is here, which is a slow, longer term growth energy. It, what's going to make you happy in the long run? We could be talking like over the next two years. Like this is, this is, you know, it could be next nine years also with the double nines here. So this, this is something momentous, I think, of what's going on here. And you are kind of stuck in a little bit in an affinity loop in your heart. You keep going kind of back and forth. Like this could work, but... I really want this, but maybe this is more practical. It's like this, because this can be a very practical energy, Knight of Coins also. So think about if you're trying and making this decision, whatever gets presented to you in Virgo season, as I said, the time, the money, the energy, the info that comes in, discern over the longer term, what will make you happy and very fulfilled emotionally because when we're fulfilled emotionally those other things like money relationships creativity personal growth they tend to take care of themselves all right sagittarius let's see what you need to know about virgo season august 22nd to september 22nd Saggies, what is a poppin'? What is happening? Let us see. Oh, we have a four of pentacles and a queen of pentacles. We have a five of pentacles in your heart. We have a four of wands. And we have the sun. Okay. So something is going to manifest very lovely for you okay but in the meantime in your heart we got some interesting energies here all right i'm going to read this two ways i'm going to read it a money way and an emotional way um there could be something going on where you may feel like emotionally left out about something um, maybe you're feeling you are giving more to a friendship or a relationship than somebody else. You could be trying to hold on to a relationship through investing a lot of energy into it, but you're doing all the work. And then you're wondering why you're feeling like, you know, unfulfilled five of coins in your heart. Um, I think there could be some positive changes in something you've assumed about a friendship or relationship. Um, like I said, you could be investing that lot of that energy, but 
that person could have just been, they weren't reciprocating because they were having a lot of personal problems. They could have not told you what was going on. Like you, you might have assumed some things. There could also be something, I'm getting a little bit with this four and the five, a little bit of focusing on a grudge. That also is possible here. But if there can be some open communication, like this can be healed. This is what I feel, this four of wands and the sun card. If you can just spend some enjoyable time with this person without expectations, without a lot of drama, you can have, I think, a good time and also bring some lighthearted, the both of these celebration, lighthearted energies to some sort of emotional connection where you have felt left out. I think you assumed something and then you got a chip and you held a grudge. Okay, that's what I feel. But I also, this is the other thing I feel. There could be this connection where you've been feeling that. It's not meant to be a heavy connection. Like maybe you were looking to that connection to be like your ride or die, but they just want to have fun. You know, girls just want to have fun. It's just like they just wanted to like hang out with you for coffee or go to the, the movies or, you know, chill, chill out and, you know, go for supper or something. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this is entertaining, lighthearted, like let's just have fun energy. And this is more like, you know, locked in, like your mind, like type energy. You see what I'm saying? I think there's some mixed signals that may, you might be addressing with, with a friendship or a connection in your life. It can have a happy ending. I like with this over here. Okay. Here's another way of looking at this energy. If we're talking about money, um, there is something here to be looking at about holding on and letting go and flow. And again, resentments or feeling lack in your heart. Um, there, there's something to look at there. It's a delicate balance. It's always about flow. Right, money is energy. It's it, yes, we need to save and make sure our obligations are taken care of and all of that. But if we're talking about manifesting, which is the Queen of Pentacles, she is manifesting that coin in her lap, which suggests to me you do want to manifest more money, more coin in your lap. Then it's more challenging to do so when there's a five of coins going on in our heart. Right? The lack, the it could be self-esteem. I mean, I read Pentacles of self-esteem. It can be feeling like left out in the cold. Well, how come I'm doing all this hard work? You know, I am, you know, showing up. I'm doing the right things with my money, but I still don't have enough or I didn't get the raise yet or I mean, whatever it might be. So your, your manifestations may possibly be being blocked by whatever this five of coins represents for you in your heart. And then the four of coins is a stinginess. It can be. Now, I'm not saying you're personally stingy. This is a general energy reading, but we know like sometimes when, you know, the bank balance starts going down and we get nervous, which is only normal, right? We start cutting back, but we cut back to a point where it can signal to the universe we don't believe in flow, right? Like a very minor example, you go out to eat four coins, sun, and you, you know, barely tip your server or you don't tip your server or even, you know, 50 cents or you put the change in the change jar when you get a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Like when you don't do those things, it signals to the universe. I mean, if they gave you crappy service, that's a different issue. But if you got good service and it's a place you go all the time, they know your order, you have a couple few, even if it's a quarter left over and you put it in that change jar, that's still signaling to the universe this idea of flow, that more will come back to you. So I think there's something about you getting in the spirit of flow and generosity again. You are a very generous sign, but anybody can feel like this when money starts to get tight. It's only normal. So I would find ways that you can share your energy. It does not have to be expensive. The way you can share joy, creativity. Uh, you can invite somebody on a picnic that you can show up for a friend, like go to their marathon race that they're running, cheer from the sidelines. Ways that you can be generous, that it doesn't have to involve money, that helps shift 
this five of coins out of your heart and bring in more abundance. Because we can be generous with other things. We can be generous with our time and energy. But we've all been in these situations, right? I mean, absolutely. We all have been in these types of situations, unless you were born with a silver freaking spoon in your mouth, okay? Where we pull back, like I said, and we cut off our energy in sharing it even in other ways abundantly, as I was just saying. So if you want to kind of snap out of this and get some more coin to land in your lap, think of how you can share of your time, your heart, and your creativity. And stay in that flow energy. Because we know what we focus on expands. The more you focus on this five of coins, the more it's the five of coins. Okay? So be in this joyful energy. I really feel like this may be something like showing up for a friend. Okay? Or, you know just spending time with somebody doing something fun will take the energy in a totally different direction and get you out of this. This is very important right now for you in Virgo season. Capricorn, let's see what you need to know about a Virgo season, August 22nd to September 22nd. Capricorn, let us see what is going on for you. Ooh, Magician. Wow. Magician and Ace of Swords, baby. Oh, Tower in your heart. Oh, Six of Swords. Oh, I'm getting chills. Three of Pentacles. He's been popping up quite a bit. I don't know why I called it a he, but... <laughs> this is three of coins. It's not a he. Okay. Look at this. I think there's some Eureka brainwave, like... I think you're going to surprise yourself about a manifestation, an idea, a new direction that you're going to be going in. There is a, a new plan that's coming. You may not see it exactly yet. It's going to start percolating in like you're the, with this magician. You have a strong desire, magician, to create something new in your world. Um, it could be something creative. It could be that you want to cut loose from something and head toward Six of Swords, head toward a new direction, leave a problem behind, leave a place behind, leave a person behind. I mean, leave something behind so you can start fresh with a clean slate, especially mentally, but it could also be creatively with this magician. Um, wow, this tower. You're going to, you're, that's the card in the heart. You are going to surprise yourself. Okay. You are going to make a decision that is going to be absolutely correct. Six of swords. And this three of coins suggests that what I'm feeling with this energy is that the plan will be absolutely ready by the end of Virgo season. Three of coins. So by September 22nd, the plan is in motion. Um, and you're fully focused on the plan. The plan you think you have now, it's going to change. But the end result is going to be just as triumphant. Okay, Ace of Swords here. So whatever direction you think you're going in now... There's going to be a little bit of a surprise twist because of something mentally that, and maybe emotionally too, but it's probably mentally. The sense of cutting loose and cutting free from something. I like, I just feel this sense of clean slate. Clean slate. It may very much has something to do, three of coins, with a creative plan, a creative project, a creative proposal, architecture, structure, new beginnings, starting to build something new. That is a very strong desire you're having with these double ones here. Aces are about the self, though. So there is something, you know, some triumphant news. You're holding up your sword in triumph like, I am doing this. 
You may be surprised about some sort of triumphant news that gets you going in a different direction, but still it's manifesting and hitting your targets of what you want. That is the universe's plan. The universe is going to give you what you want. The way it, what it looks like is going to be a little different than exactly what you're imagining, but it's going to be fantastic. So be open a little to some flexibility and some surprises. But I do think, again, you're surprising yourself here, Capricorn. It could be that you're surprising yourself with this kind of line in the sand. This like, yeah, I am just like, let's, let's cut it loose. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You may be traveling over water. You may be heading back to a place that is near water in some way also. This may have something to do with that. So keep that in mind also. All right, Aquarius, let's see what you need to know about Virgo season. Tarot energies, Aquarius, let us see. Beautiful, the sun card. And the two of cups, mm. four coins in your heart. Oh, the tower, Capricorn just got that. I shuffled and the knight of wands. Um, are you putting a ring on it? Something's going on. There's some sort of deal in the making. I think that either way, if it's romance or business, whatever we have going on here, um, it moves fast. There is a surprising like thunderbolt from the sky, a meet cute moment with the two of cups. This there is something in your heart that you want to hold on to this month. By the end of Virgo season, you're meeting someone, you're you're negotiating a deal like you want this to happen. You want to hold this in your hot little hand. Um. There is an element of quickness, of surprise, of uh, passion. I'm just going to say this for those of you in the dating world. I mean, there could be a passionate hookup here in September. Um, you don't want it to just be a hookup, though, because of the four of coins in your heart. So just be aware, like, who are you on the same page? You probably are, but don't assume anything, you know, in today's world. You can't assume that somebody, you know, <laughs> wants to hold on to it. You know, you're wanting to hold on to whatever this is. They may just be in it for a passionate hookup. Make sure you're clear. There's nothing wrong with a passionate hookup if that's what you both want. But I think there's something else going on here with the four coins in your heart. Um. There may be something that comes in. If this if this is more about finance and business and some sort of proposal of being on somebody's podcast, uh, being interviewed on TV, some sort of publicity that may come your way with the sun card, like being really in the public in some way, this may shockingly take off. Like there, there could be a, a viral, you know, you could be social media viral with some sort of publicity um, that could also help you financially hold on to more money, like more deals could come in or something like that. Very possible with these energies. Um, but, but also whatever this is, you may not have time or leisure to sit and wonder about it. Like uh, they may give you a very fast deadline. Like, okay, you need to let us know in two days. Are you gonna be on this show? If not, then we're gonna go with this person over here. So, you know, just there could be a little pressure. I mean, that's the thing. Knight of Wands Tower, there could be a little bit of pressure to decide something very fast. You've got to go with your gut. If it, four coins, feels valuable and val if it aligns with your values also, then I would say, thank you, Bobo. <laughs> I would say that that's, that's a good thing. We have been brushing him. I know you're going to be like, he has things. We've been brushing every day and then he gets his delectable. But he's got a couple here. My sister really needs to get over here and, and get on him. Um, but we've gotten quite a few things off of him. So 
Don't worry. We've been taking care of Bobo. Right, Bobby? Yes, you're a good boy. Um, but something could make sure it's aligned with your values is my point. Because if it and if it feels right in your gut, you know, that four of coins to me, because the coin is over the person's well, pretty much their digestive system. I mean, you can see right here. Like, if you get a queasy feeling in your stomach, then what are you eating? Then don't be doing it. Right? But sometimes, you know, just because we have this doesn't mean it's bad, right? Sometimes things that, that come fast like that and maybe slightly surprising out of the blue can be something fantastic also. As long as it feels aligned, it's valuable. Maybe you're getting paid from it also. There is, There could be some sort of money negotiation. Don't sell yourself short, Aquarius, with this either. Okay. Get what's rightfully yours in any type financially in any type of negotiation that may be going on. But I feel like something could come in that could really take your career, your money life to the next level, like some sort of publicity. All right, Pisces, let's see what you need to know about Virgo season, August 22nd, September 22nd. Bobo is hanging here on the desk. All right, let's see what we got. Pisces. Pisces. We have a three of wands and the two of swords. I think you're like, did I make the right decision? Four of cups. I think you're feeling that something has passed you by, but I don't think it has. Page of coins and the page of wands. Yeah, it has not passed you by. Um, we have a little bit of, I don't want to say fear-based thinking, but we have a little bit two of swordsies, like, just kind of, uh, maybe if I don't look at it, it won't happen, but then I am looking at it. So this is very interesting, right? Two of swords, she's blindfolded, but the three of wands, her eyes are wide open and she's looking at the horizon. So you have been waiting, three of wands, maybe since the beginning of Leo season, but it could also be three years ago. It could be longer ago. It could be three months ago. You have been waiting for something to come in. It hasn't quite gelled yet, uh, which is why we have this two of swords. You're like, all right, fine. Then I'm not going to even anticipate it anymore. The heck with it. Who cares? But that's just self-defense mm -hmm. mechanisms, right? That are kicking in. Because look what's happening. The Four of Cups is in your heart. Here is over it on her shirt, but you're still secretly wishing that the universe would bring it, even though you're kind of like, I'll forget about it. I My hopes were dashed. It didn't happen. Screw you, universe. But, oh, wait a minute. Can you please still bring it? <laughs> okay. It's bringing it. Look. We have a page of pentacles and a page of wands. So by the end of Virgo season, I think there's going to be some sort of concrete, tangible news about whatever this represents for you over here, this three of wands. And you're going to start moving forward on it. Notice we have a wand again, and we had a wand here. Wands are action. We're taking action, baby steps. It's starting. It's happening. But the info has to come in. The funding, the info, the time, the energy, the yes, the green light, whatever it is, the resources. All right. But again, pentacles by the end of Virgo season. Um, We have a big a full moon lunar eclipse in your sign in the middle of September. I will do a video on that. That may be when this news pops in for you. Okay, very, very, very possible where you're going to be like, okay, the universe didn't abandon me. The universe is delivering. It's wrapping up that situation finally so that I can get started on it. It's finally manifesting so I can move along, move on, like get, get it going in my life, page of wands. So keep the faith. I mean, we can all go through a two of swords where we're like, ah, eh, forget it. You know, but that, that is, it's self-protective mechanism. Because you are, you're four of cups, you're still secretly hoping that it manifests. Keep hope alive, Pisces. Keep hope alive, it's coming. 
Thank you so much for joining me for your Virgo season tarot energy reading check-in. Like, let's see what may be occurring. I will be back with money and career readings for each one of the signs. So stay tuned for that. Of course, the video for the new moon in Virgo and the full moon lunar eclipse and Pisces and assorted other videos. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, love you guys very much. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you're looking forward to in Virgo season. Bobo and I would love to know. There he is. <laughs> Sorry for any cat butt interruptions. Love you guys. Take care. We will see you again soon. Stella Wild and Bobo Barino signing out.